We are on the floor outside of that. Go! Wally? Yeah. Hi, Tom. How do you get the cut? Well, you know, I'm not really sure. But it looks like someone popped him a good one. He's pretty worked up. Are you sure you're going to be able to handle him tonight? He'll wear out in a minute. You know, he, he took a swipe at one of my deputies. Now, normally, I'd get him a couple nights in the cooler. But uh, him being a war hero and everything, besides, we're not really equipped to handle that type of thing. He needs professional help, Molly. Yeah, well, what he needs and what's available are two different things. Well, you know, I expect that may be true. But if he's on the street again in that condition, we will take it to the next level. And I'm not sure what that'll be, but whatever it is, we will do it. You have I, a good night. I understand. Thank you. We are soldiers of the cross. We are here to fight Satan in all of his forms in a 6,000-year war to gain control of the hearts of mankind. We are here today to act on our destiny as dictated by our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. What do you expect from the jury? I believe God's hand will move the jury, but we should never underestimate the power of Satan. We must be prepared to take the battle to a higher level in case Satan's offensive is good here today. Come on now, is this really that big of a deal? With Satan, an inch given is an inch taken. We have drawn the line in the sand. It illuminated some very, very disturbing problems here. So, I gave him the Milan 3 and I gave him the War Shack. He clearly has no remorse capabilities, and his narcissism level, it's out there. So? He's confident. No, no. Not confident. Narcissistic. He's aggressive, sadistic, and he has excessive compulsive disorder. And that little eagle thing may have been a delusion and not a daydream. So you can throw in paranoid schizophrenic on top of everything you know else. <laughs> There are no what-ifs here, Renee. Look, I've been giving these psychological tests to these criminal whack jobs for over 20 years. He's a walking, talking encyclopedia of criminal pathological anomalies. He's sadistically aggressive, he's delusional, he's brilliant, and he's really pissed off. I want him transferred to the dormitory. That uh, would be most unwise. <coughs> I'm sorry, Frank. I really am. The cocksucker. You're pulling the plug. <coughs> Fucking cunt whore bitch wife put you up to this. Come on, Frank. Let's be reasonable here. What are you doing besides running up the bills? You know, when you drop your bags, they give you a checkout time. And when that time comes, you either move out on your own, or they put your shit out on the street. It's not real genteel, but it's the same for all of us, Frank. And Frank, the bellman's been knocking on your door for quite some time, and you haven't answered it. So now they're kicking it down. Fucking shit. The bitch couldn't do it herself. Frank, she's not the one who's dead here. She's got a life. She's got a future. But she also has a past. You know, it's times like this. You gotta try to hang on and preserve the good memories. Living is about hopes and memories. Well, the hope's gone for sure. So you're going to pull the plug now? I'm paid for the whole day, Frank. Whenever you feel like it. This is my goddamn car! Really? No, I didn't know that. That's a shame. Sure there's a hot one, ain't it? What the hell are you towing it for anyway? Well, I don't know for sure, but I say it has something to do with you being parked in the handicap zone. So 
you know, they get pretty tense about that here. So when you park here over there, then handicapped folks can't get in there, you know what I mean? Fucking A, I know what you mean. Did you see the way I walked up here? You think I walk like this because I got a broomstick up my ass? Half my damn foot's missing! That's, I'm sorry to hear that. That's too bad. Hey, where are you going? Wait a minute, I'm handicapped! This is a mistake! No, it's not, man. There's no handicap card in the mirror. The card's gotta be displayed. No card, the card gets towed. Look, I forgot. I keep it on the seat for when I need it. Look, let me get it for you. Hey, you can't touch the car. As of a few moments ago, this car is impounded. You can't touch it till you go down to the office, fill out the paperwork, and make the arrangements with the police. I at least get my goddamn phone out of the car. Sorry, man. Rules. This is bullshit! I'm, I'm a half a mile away from the goddamn marina. It, it, it took me forever to walk up here in the heat. It damn near killed me. I mean, what's the big difference anyway? Some dickhead put the sign way up here in the middle of bumfuck anyway. Now put down my goddamn car!